Hi everyone, I'm going to do another Neville Nugget from At Your Command by Neville, Neville, Neville Goddard. And he says, have faith in this unseen claim until the conviction is born within you that it is so. Your confidence in this claim will pay great rewards. Just a little while and he, the thing desired, will come. But without faith it is impossible to realize anything. Through faith the worlds were framed. Just wait for that bus to go past outside. Because faith is the substance of the thing hoped for, the evidence of the thing not yet seen. Don't be anxious or concerned as to the results. They will follow just as surely as day follows night. So it's having faith in this unseen claim. So it's believing in your desire. It's believing that what you want is possible. It's believing that you can bring it into your 3D world and you do that through focus, you through that, do that through faith, you do that through belief, you do that through practicing, giving thanks for things in advance. So as Neville says, it's you until a conviction is born within you, you keep practicing. It's a practice, it's a internal getting stronger at believing, okay? It's like you know, we get better at lifting weights or we get better at walking long di longer distances or jogging further or having more stamina through repetition and practice. And this is the same. It's a mental fitness, you see. So I remember when I really, 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 really wanted to break free of my job and be able to move around and travel when I was feeling extremely trapped I knew that I had to believe in feeling free and I knew that I had to believe that money came from unexpected sources. So I started to close my eyes to what was going on and believe as best I could and I had many moments of feeling trapped and many moments of just saying, this isn't going fast enough, but kept at it, kept at it, kept at it, kept at it, keep I kept imagining myself moving around, being free, working as I go, working in different countries, being able to see the people that I loved and to really be a part of people's lives because it was important to me. People were getting older. <coughs> Excuse me. And I just knew that I wanted to see people before they got you know, sick, er, uh, and died and all those things. So it was living in the end and having a conviction that I was, I kept looking at planes and saying, oh, I love flying in planes, I love flying in planes. Every time I saw a plane, I would do that. I love flying in planes, I love flying in planes. Um, I've stopped doing that now because I'm living right under the flight path in Sydney, Australia, and if I did that, I'd be doing that every 30 seconds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And I am traveling enough, so I've stopped that one now, but you can see how it worked. It did work. So it really is faith. And faith is believing in something that you can't see. That's what faith is. So I would like to mention something else that came up in the Q&A. Um, Ildiko, this one's for you. You mentioned something that I thought was incredibly important and I said to you, I think this would make a good YouTube. So I'm going to mention it a bit now. You said I don't need them to change. And I think that is so, 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 so important because so many of you are emailing me, comments in the threads, she's not, he's not, he used to, she used to, they're not doing this anymore, I want more, I want more contact, I want more phone calls, I want more texts, I want more, whatever. But if you let go of I need them to change and I need them to do more for me, <sighs> something happens. It's a really great thing. Just don't need them to change anymore. Just let them be and let them be where they are, give what they're giving and is nothing wrong with you continuing to imagine more and enjoy more in imagination and enjoy the contact, enjoy more of those things. But the rest of the time, 
just let go and say, I don't need them to change for me to be happy. And I can tell you, it sets you free from this constant desiring to get, get, get. Okay. So Ildigo, thank you for bringing that up. That was really great. And Maria, thank you for the chats about Neville um, and inspiring me to dig out my books now that I am here in Sydney to do some more Neville nuggets because Neville is very dear to me and having been reading him for 30 years, he has very much changed so much of my world by applying what he teaches, by imagination creates reality, by living in the end, by everyone's you pushed out, all of these things that he teaches over and over and over. And this book at your command, I mean, you can see it's a very thin book. You can read it in about an hour and a half, I think, at the most. And a lot of his books are like that. But, yeah, the commands, I am loved, wanted, wealthy, happy, skinny, whatever it is, the commands that you give to the universe claiming and stating what you are. So for those of you that want a bit of extra reading, I will put the link to At Your Command. I think there's an audio version on YouTube. I'll put that there and then I'll put the link to where you can get the book on eBay if those of you want to buy it and read a bit more. Okay, lots of love. <laughs>